Welcome back. 17 News is your local election headquarters. We've told you Democratic Congressman TJ Cox is going up against former three-term Republican Congressman David Valadeo in what could shape up to be a 2018 rematch. But there are two other candidates in this race that have a unique bond, even though they're running against each other. 17's Anton Wallace spoke with them and has their story. Those two candidates are Rocky and Ricky De La Fuente. No, the same last name is not a coincidence. They are father and son, one a Republican, the other a Democrat. So who are they? Well, we went down to their office in San Diego to ask them why they're running in this central California district. And the question everyone has, are they for real? I'll take this one. Rocky De La Fuente and his son Ricky De La Fuente love chess and enjoy a friendly competition. Now you can get my pot with your queen. But now dad, a Republican, and son, a Democrat, are competing for something else. The race for the 21st Congressional District, a district which includes Arvin to the south, parts of Bakersfield, segments of Tulare and Kings counties, and even a sliver of Fresno County. All right, do your boxy rock. While the senior De La Fuente and his son technically are going up against each other, they say they entered the race to give voters an alternative to Republican David Valadeo and Democrat T.J. Cox. The system is broken because the people in Congress, all they care is about getting reelected. And I think anybody could do a better job than the current elected officials. And I want to get in because I feel like we need to deliver the results that our communities deserve. And we need action. No more talk. We need uh, Orgullo Latino. We need Orgullo Latina. We need to have role models for the Hispanic community. The 21st district is over 70% Hispanic. It's amazing that there was not Republican candidate that's Hispanic that's running, or there's not one Hispanic Democrat that's running. Both sides, Republican and Democrats, there's not one Hispanic, man or woman. We need to have more representation. So who are these candidates? Father and son were born in San Diego and live there today. The elder De La Fuente is a millionaire who earned his money in real estate development and through his ownership of dozens of car dealerships. His 30-year-old son describes himself as an entrepreneur who works in the family business. I'm the heir, my wife Katayun, Nancy Reagan, and Ronald Reagan. Politically, both have their eyes set on more than just the 21st district. I'm Rocky, Rocky De La Fuente. The elder De La Fuente, who ran for U.S. Senate in nine states during the 2018 election, is running for president as a Republican and as an American independent, he has qualified for the ballot in 17 states, including California. I hope you vote for me for president. I would like to basically get as much votes as I can to show that we're not united with Trump. And on the contrary, we need somebody with common decency and somebody that has uh, a little bit better personality. Previously, the younger De La Fuente ran for Congress in several states, including Florida. This time around, he's also running for a seat in Texas. Even so, both insist they care about the 21st. Right now, we are conducting this interview in beautiful San Diego, in the 52nd Congressional District, some 30 congressional districts from the 21st, a four-hour drive away from the 21st. So what made you want to run for this race? I was looking to see where is most competitive. So when I was looking at the 21st Congressional District, I realized that there's a huge Hispanic majority. And the both uh, congressional candidates, T.J. Cox and David Valdeo, are neither Hispanic. So I felt that someone needs to run. So I can run for any one of the 53 congressional districts. But more importantly, the 21st, it's shameful that we basically have a district that does not have a, a Hispanic or a His Hispana on the ballot. As for whether they believe they can win, thank you, Ricky. Good game. They acknowledge it's no chess match, but they are optimistic. I really feel that it's uh, the district is going to go Democrat, and it's going to basically be Mr. Cox or my son. Elect my son. He's Harvard educated. He speaks 14 languages, eight fluently. He would make a beautiful, beautiful congressman. We need some young, rising leaders, and I think I can be that voice. A reminder, you do not have to live in the district to run. The Constitution requires only a member of Congress live in the state he or she represents. Now, the top two vote-getters in this race will advance to the general election this November. Meantime, primary election day is March 3rd. In Studio A, Tom Wallace, 17 News.